some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, last night I ended up being on the live stream of uh, Takedown Exposing Frauditors, and he decided that he was going to let us know that he was retiring, not only from his uh, regular job, but from... Uh, from video making on YouTube altogether. Now I would like to wish him all the luck in the world and may he have a happy retirement, not only from his job, but from YouTube as well. And when it comes right down to it, YouTube can be kind of a second job when you uh, work it right. Now he and I had kind of a competitive thing going on where we would try to reach a subscriber count in a specific time period. And, well, now that kind of thing is over with between him and I. Now he, he's retired. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay tribute to him by presenting one of his videos uh, for us today. And uh, I will leave a link in the description box below so you guys can check out any of his videos if you have never heard of him before. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax. Relax and enjoy the show. You know, dude, that has to be one of my favorite intros of all the anti-auditors out there. I mean, uh, he did a remarkable job on its production, but let's carry on. So first of all, good evening, bootlickers. It looks like you just got out of bed. You're wiping your eyes. You're tired. But listen, guys, we got an update on this clown. Wait until you see what he has to say about all your guys' comments, the video I did, and his outlook on it. It is, <laughs> it is crazy. This guy really thinks that uh, that he's got one up on everybody. But guys, make sure you watch the video all the way through because it's going to make sense to you. Uh, listen to what I have to say because uh, we're going to point out a whole bunch of stuff that this guy's talking about. This kid, I'm telling you, this kid needs to stay locked up in the basement uh, and, and be grounded. Uh, but let's get into the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn all those notifications on. we got some great videos coming up today, guys. So enjoy it. Sit back, relax, and let's tear this guy a new you-know-what. Good evening, poo lickers. I've read your comments. I've read your, your little spiels. I read your nonsense. I read some of you guys that are actually, you know, intelligent and, and actually understand that it is by rights, you know, at stake. Um, I appreciate you guys for the views. I appreciate you guys for the shares, um, for the comments. Not only are you guys giving the video awareness, but, um, you know, <laughs> you guys, obviously the wrong people got a hold of the video, but at the end of the day, I know I did right. And I know I didn't, I didn't break the law. <laughs> so, um, I will win in court. I got affidavits. I got video proof. I got letters. I got a ton of things to help my case. Um, honestly, I'm not going to hundred percent say that I will win because I don't know what judge I am going to get. I do know. No, no. So already you look real, real stupid. What you're saying doesn't make sense. You're saying two totally different things. Let's listen to you again. Sound like a complete moron. I will win in court. I got affidavits. I got video proof. I got letters. I got a ton of things to help my. So you're either going to win because you have all the evidence that you could possibly have to show the judge or you're going to lose. You can't have both sides. Now you want to blame it on, well, on the judge. Well, I don't know what judge I'm going to have, so I might not win. Do you see how those two contents don't make sense, what you're saying? You sound like a complete, complete moron. And then when you do lose, are you going to show everybody? You're going to do a video? on why you lost i guess you're gonna you're gonna blame it on the failing system right listen dude distractive driving you took your hands off the wheel i could actually look up the laws and show you the actual laws of distractive driving but i'm working with one hand and even if i had both my hands working right now 
I wouldn't look them up because even if I put it black and white in front of you, you're still not going to believe it. So there's just a quick overview. You're right uh, on that point because I once argued with a frauditor myself on a uh, statute, an Ohio statute, on trespassing laws. And, uh, well, he kept on trying to say that it didn't apply or anything like that. And he still kept on arguing the counterpoint, even though, well, it was quite clear. And even his own followers were questioning his sanity at that point. So, so yeah, they'll ignore what you uh, present to them, uh, right to them, because, you know, it doesn't really fit with their narrative anyway. So they'll just, well, uh, that doesn't apply. I don't know who the judge name is, but uh, I obviously won't reveal that or anything about the court because you guys are a little, you know, little rats. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update that, uh, oh, yes, I did delete the comments. First off, I didn't even realize that I could remove the comments. Like it's like Instagram type shit. So I meet, I just like, I was like, okay, if I remove the comments, these guys are only gonna get even more mad. They're gonna think, that I'm like scared or like this frail little guy that is hurt. You know what I mean? But nah, um, you know, I, I love seeing the comments, the good comments, you know, people. There he is sticking his foot down his throat again. I love reading the comments. Wow, why do you have the comments turned off? See what I'm saying? You don't think before you speak and you're in college, you already got an F from me. Well, just because you're in college doesn't make you intelligent. In fact, I can wager that uh, somebody of this low level of intelligence might not be able to handle the workload at all and drop out. That actually informed, more educated, you know, saying that I didn't break the law because I didn't. You know, the whole distracted driving thing. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> like, like, first off, you're whispering into your microphone so you don't wake up your parents. Two a majority of the things that you say are actually wrong and 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 I, I get it i get it like you have an audience to please you have this huge reputation for yourself i get it man i have nothing at stake here i'm fighting for my rights i'm fighting for my liberties i have the right to flip off a cop you absolutely do have the right to flip off the cop but remember remember there's consequences when you flip off a cop so so when you have any violations on your vehicle he's going to follow the law to the t just like he's doing now and just this little video clip i'm going to play guys with his tinted out tail lights remember the cop could have gave him a ticket for not signing his registration and he didn't and he didn't here's the little video clip here's the black tail lights sleep and legal here's a news article for you perfect okay. a news article it's going to prove everything yeah what nothing Nothing. Just two. Okay, just, so here's a news article that explains how it's actually a violation of three just, separate RCWs. Just, just hand it over. So there's a news article for you. Thank you. Here's these documents back for you. Did oh. you have proof of your uh, insurance? Yep. Right. Make sure to sign your registration mm -hmm. because that's technically a $136 ticket to not sign your registration. Oh, okay. yeah. I'm not writing you for that today. Okay. Got 30 days, four options here. Read through this, fill this out. You can mail it in or you can handle it online, okay? Yep. See you in court, man. Driving by, you know without being retaliated against, okay? The cop, had I never given him the finger, would have never pulled me over, okay? I didn't want the attention. I didn't want the attention. I didn't want the attention. I don't want the money. I don't care about the money, okay? You're a bitch. Okay, I don't give a fuck about that. I wanted to point out a bad cop the same day I put a complaint on him. The state, his supervisor ended up calling me, asking about the details. I explained to him everything, that he needs extensive training. And he even agreed with me that it, it there are such things as retaliatory stops. Like, I get it, I get it. There's ignorance out there. So, for context, I flipped this guy off. I flipped this, this state patrol off. And, and there are, will, there will and always will be people that will tear you down and try to, you know, get at you any chance you get to try to judge you only because they're sheep like you got to understand that there are sheep out there for real they will just listen to any any woke person you know what i mean but if you're genuinely up there and you're actually intelligent you're studying you're getting educated you continue your foundation of learning then of course you're going to be more knowledgeable in certain things and i know my rights i 
have the trifold nor have i used it but i have it there for emergencies you guys say that i have the trifold because i'm a diehard chili fan and i will do go to the ends of earth for chili no dude <laughs> no chili's in jail okay till august so the end of august i am not chili okay i'm me i am not an auditor i am not a person that does this for a living i am a college student Okay, I'm getting an education. Okay, okay, here's a, where I have a problem with this. Uh, you say you have the trifold and you uh, try to use it. Uh, dude, in college, they definitely teach you how to do research. So why don't you take what you learned through your uh, research and apply it to Chili's trifold. I mean, if you apply that little bit of knowledge to his trifold and actually look up these things, do your research, then you'll find Chili is full of shit. With that being said, if you have no understanding of how research works, actual research goes, then you probably a, haven't had a, a research type of class yet, in English or social sciences or anything like that, or B, you just didn't pay any attention in those classes. Which some of you guys probably need. But I, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I know I know my rights and you should too. And I'm not, I'm not trying to fire shots at you guys truly because I know some of you guys must be really good people, but you guys follow the wrong people. And, and, and I'm still probably gonna get hate on this video, but at the end of the day, I know, I know I didn't do anything wrong. And I know some of you guys deep down, whether you guys hate me or not, you guys know I didn't break the law. He said he could have cited me for all those things, but yeah, he didn't, right? Why? What was stopping him? Was it because he knew it was gonna be thrown out in court? Or was it because he's genuinely trying to be a nice guy? Come on, like be realistic. If he's already retaliating against me, what's stopping him from going the extra mile you understand like you guys got to put that in perspective and you guys got to think about it truly um at the end of the day i have no disrespect towards anthony reese himself until now i have no disrespect towards any actual police officer individually i have a problem with the badge okay i believe that there is tyranny in america still to this day and i will continue believing it until there's police reform active police reform tons and tons of reform i believe there will be no change and i think we're years before change and unfortunately we are living in that time where it's just running rampant and i even cited all those channels in my description for a reason if you click on any of them they will show you videos like click on them like like click on the links and watch videos like get informed get to know like there's civil rights lawyers you know like showing and depicting what's wrong with certain police interactions and you guys fail to check those because you guys know those people are correct and i'm correct for what i'm doing you know what i mean like i did everything in my power to wow well within my rights to flip off a cop and go about my way. I've done it several times before. I will continue to do it because it is my First Amendment right of free speech. The Constitution is great. America is great. And I think that all of you guys should genuinely just take a long breather and just read. <laughs> read, please. Um, once again, thank you guys for sharing my video. And um, whether this gets hate or love, so be it. Um, it is what it is, and uh, I will for sure keep you guys updated in court. Okay, guys, first of all, let's just start off with uh, he's going to keep you updated with the court. I promise you guys, he is not going to win this in court. I guarantee it. I also guarantee he's probably not going to do an updated video on it. Um, you know, when I was watching the video, it's like, well, I kind of feel sorry for this guy, but I don't. I don't. He is very, very young. He's very stupid. He's very uneducated. I mean, <laughs> there's, listen, whatever he says to my audience, to anybody out there about turning comments off, turning comments on, all this nonsense that he's talking about, none of it makes sense. At the end of the day, I'm going to go home without any tickets. 
I'm going to sit on my couch and have my coffee and enjoy my day. You're not. You're going to have fines to pay. And for that cop not giving you tickets, for not uh, writing, uh, putting your signature on, on the insurance paper, it's because he's being a nice cop. And he's probably hoping that you're going to have a change of mind down the road. You watch way too many videos, guys. Way too many videos. That's why we do these videos. Because you're very, very stupid and you're really, really uneducated. You have no clue what you're talking about. I could have tore this video apart left and right and center and pointed out a whole bunch of things. I could have put laws up there. I could have showed you what distractive driving was. You got tint on your, on your uh, taillights. It's illegal. It's absolutely illegal. And I'm telling you, if you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to end up getting tickets and tickets and tickets. The cops will follow the law right to the T. I told you guys in my last video, I got stopped for tinted windows. 100% illegal here. I knew it. And when the cop pulled me over, I never did what this character did. And you know what? He says, you know what? I'm going to give you 24 hours. Go take it off your car. Go take the tint window tint off. And by the way, you have no front license plate either. I said, okay, I'll get it strapped up there. I ordered a mount for it. I never got a ticket. I guarantee if I do, did what this kid was doing, I would have had tickets, maybe a box one inspection. Who knows? You're a fool, buddy. I can't wait to see you do an updated video. And I guess when you lose, you're going to just blame it on the failing justice system. Stop watching Delete Laws too. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will keep you updated. And you better hope, you better hope the subscribers in this video don't find out what college you're going to. Because I'm telling you, you <laughs> they're going to find out what type of fool you look like on YouTube. Anyways, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Well, dude, uh, I wish you all the best in your retirement. May you uh, find peace and uh, not do any more work for the rest of your life. And uh, we will miss you here on YouTube. I know I enjoyed your videos whenever I was able to watch them. So now I will uh, end this video on his intro because you know it makes a good outro as well so at any rate guys i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching and i will see you guys on the next one